Welcome everyone to our second video on shoulder instability. This is a very nice diagram I wanted to go over with you guys. This is courtesy of Dr. Matt Skalski from Radiopedia.org and this is a, a set of images that are available as part of the Creative Commons license and you can use it in your presentations. So let's get started with glenoid labral tears and we should mention that the inferior glenohumeral ligament which we reviewed in our prior video, the medial glenohumeral ligaments, as they attach to the glenoid, you'll see the relationship with the labrum and the periosteum here of the glenoid. That being said, you have some normal variants that you should know to avoid misdiagnosis them as slap tears. However, we're more interested in the lesions here at the bottom, which are the ones usually associated with enter shoulder dislocation. The bank card lesion or the soft tissue bank card is the most common one and you should know that in this one the periosteum and the labrum is displaced. We also have a, a lesion that's not uh, displayed here but it's one that involves a bony bank card but it's the, same, it's the same pathophysiology in a sense but you have actually part of the bone has been uh, fractured and it's, actually, it's out and so it's not only periosteum it's actually a fragment of bone that is also uh, involved in the injury. When we talk about perthes glat and alpha, the perthes lesion is particular because you don't have periosteal disruption and you do have disruption of the labrum, but it's not until you treat it with conservative treatment and it fails that you know that it's, uh, it is unstable. So there's a chance that because the periosteum is intact on this one, there's a chance we might be able to treat it with uh, conservative treatment. For the GLAD, what you should know in the mnemonic is that because uh, we call it GLAD and mnemonic is, aren't you glad this lesion is not unstable? So you should know that this lesion is not gonna be associated with instability. However, the ALPSA, you'll see that although the periosteum is intact, the labrum has been displaced. And sometimes in the MRI, you will see it also uh, little uh, almost like a ball of periosteum and labrum here and it's often retracted at this level so this one will need surgery so from the ones below you should know that the soft tissue bank card needs to be identified because of the periosteal disruption it will be unstable and will require surgery the same thing applies to alpha glad is not associated with instability and perthes you can potentially do a conservative treatment trial before you decide that this lesion will be unstable and will require surgery. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe.